Hey guys, this is Triforce Plus One, and welcome back to our Pokemon Soul Silver Let's Play. This is part 36. In the last part, we got into the Dragon's Den and took the test, and finally got our eighth and final gym badge, where, uh, you know, yeah, we got our final gym badge. Alright, so we flew back here to Ecrotique City because what we want to do is go to the Dance Theater, and when we tried to, THUD! How? How is this possible? How can I lose to mere kimono girls? So it's Matt. You were watching me, Jeremy? Yeah, that's right. I never thought of defeating five little girls would be so hard. I got beaten to a pulp. You must have come here for the same reason, right? Don't get cocky just because you defeated Team Rocket. These Kimono girls are insanely strong. Go ahead, see if you can defeat them. But I'm not going back. I don't want to see you win. So, it looks like uh, Matt's got a little bit of a change of heart here. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, so let's go in. Um, now, uh, in Gold, Silver, and Crystal, um, this uh, part of the uh, story wasn't uh, involved, but in Heart, Gold, and Soul, Silver, it is. Welcome, my name is Zuki. I met you pre previously in po Violet City. In order to bring back Lugia, we need someone with the right of Pokemon. We asked Mr. Pokemon to give this mystery aid to whoever showed true potential. The egg was eventually handed from Mr. Pokemon to Professor Elm, and then to you. However, being pure alone will not be sufficient enough to face the power of this Pokemon. I must test you. Are you ready? Alright, so, um, yeah, I'll test how closely you've bonded with the Pokemon. So, we are begun gonna be entering a Kimono Girl Gauntlet, and they have, like, their own personal intro, which is really cool. So this is Kimono Girl Zuki. Now, all of the Kimono Girls will have a uh, different evolution. um, basically, uh, the five that were introduced in Gold, uh, Silver, and Crystal. And so Zuki has an Umbreon at level 38. Um, so, back to what I was saying, um... This part of the story isn't in Gold, Silver, and Crystal. Um, the only reason we had the uh, dance studio was to uh, get the HM Surf, um, which I just used. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it right now. And um, I guess that's uh, all I can talk about right now. Uh, in Heart Gold, they're going to be talking about how to get to uh, Ho-Oh and stuff, but since this is the awesome Soul Silver, um, they're going to talk to us about how to get to uh, Lugia, which is pretty cool. Alright, so we defeated Umbreon, um, uh, so we defeat uh, Kimono Girl Zuki. Now, in this game, it is actually a gauntlet, which means there are, is no healing or anything um, in between battles. You're quite strong. You help me in the Alex Forest. My name is Nalco. I'm the one that's not so good at directions. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so in oh, the original Gold, Silver, and Crystal, um, able to uh, do some stuff like heal stuff uh, or something. But in this one, it is a, a, a gauntlet style match where you have to fight all five of them in, in a row. So, yeah. Alright, so this is um, Kimono Girl Naoko, who has a Espeon at level 38. Um, and it's faster than me, unfortunately. So I'm gonna have to do something about that. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm just gonna use an ice, ice Fang to see if I can free- YES! I froze it! Nice! That was actually- OH NO! It thought out! What the hell? <laughs> That's not fair. And oh, oh! I'm still alive. I'm still alive. I'm still in this. Come on, yes! And we get rid of Espeon. Very nice. Very very nice. And um, as you can see, I have a Dratini on my party now. Um, this is the one that knows Extreme Speed. Um, because I used my compassionate uh, remarks in uh, the Dragon's Den, so I went ahead and got myself a Dratini. And we defeat uh, Kimono Girl Naoko. Alright, so our next Kimono Girl is the one on the far right there. Um, this is the one from... Oh, this is the one where we helped her right here in the uh, thing. This is uh, Miki, I think her name was? I don't exactly remember. Alright, <clears throat> this is... Yep, Kimono Girl Miki, who's got Flareon at level 38. So Gyarados is out here for... Obvious reasons. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if I'm going to heal it. Uh, let's use a moon. 
Alright, so more about Eevee and the Eevee Lucians. I didn't get a chance to talk about Eevee at all during my Let's Play. So, Eevee is another versatile Pokemon which can evolve into, as of Generation 4, seven different forms. Um, so this, uh, you've, you've already seen three of the seven, um, but we will, we are only be going to be experiencing five of them in this one. So the first one we saw was Umbreon, the Dark type. And the next one we saw was um, Espeon, the Psychic type. Both of those were introduced in Generation 2. And this is Flareon, the Fire type. Um, and the other two, along with Flareon, were introduced in Generation 1. Uh, fire, Electric, and Water. So we just defeated Flareon, which is cool. And defeated Kimono Girl Miki. Um, so yes. Let's continue on with that one in the center left, kind of. So this is the one that was stuck in the ice, in the ice path before Blackthorn City. And I believe she has a Jolteon. I'm not sure 100% until we see it. This is Kimono Girl Sayo, who's got the Jolteon. Awesome. But it is not so awesome for my Gyarados, so I'm probably going to have to switch out to something a little more... What's the word? Suitable. So let's switch out for... Um, the Pokemon that will have no damage from Jolteon, Golem! Alright, so let's just finish this off by hitting it with an Earthquake. For Unfortunately, it used Double Team, so I'm hoping it'll hit it. Yes! We hit it! Awesome! Earthquake is a great ground-type move, if you can hit it. It's got a 100%, 100%, um, 100 attack rate, or attack stat, or whatever it's called, I don't know. Um, but it's a really good uh, ground type move, and I taught it to Golem. And my Dratini grew to level 22. Nice. So we defeat um, Kimono Girl Sayo. Now we only have one more Kimono Girl left. Um, that one in the middle right there. I am the last one. So this is the one that we saw at the Goldenrod Tunnel, who left us sort of like awkwardly saying, ah, I must go now, and whatever she said before. So let's take on the final Kimono Girl. Kuni, who's got uh, Vaporeon, the water type evolution. Now, the other two types are um, grass type and the ipe, uh, Leafeon and Glaceon, respectively. Um, but we, I don't think we'd be able to see them during this Let's Play. So, yeah, and those two are introduced in Generation 4. Uh, generation 3 being the only generation that did not introduce new evolutions. Um, but speaking of which, I'm actually uh, looking forward to if they're going to be introducing any new evolutions in the Generation 5 games, uh, Pokemon Black and White, which uh, visually so far looks really, really stunning. Uh, I, like, I like it. Um, if you haven't seen them, um, you should, because uh, the graphics on it looks, you know, really cool. Um, there are some old school fans that are like, oh no! They ruined it some more. They ruined the Pokemon franchise. Look what they did. No, it's, it's it's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Pokemon Black and White. So we just defeated our last Poke uh, Pokemon trainer, the Kimono Girl. And what happens is... Uh, we were not wrong about you. You are indeed worthy of this. Please take it. So after that, you receive the title bell. Um, in Heart, Gold, and Soul, Silver, you get a different bell. Uh, I forgot what it was called. I think it's the Tower Bell or something like that. Big sisters! I just saw this big shadow of a Pokemon at the World Islands waters. It could be Jeremy, we've got the World Islands. See you there. Alright, so it looks like all the kimono girls and that little girl um are gonna be going to the World Islands, so let's go ahead and do that. Um what we wanna do is we'll have to fly to either um Olivine City or uh Cyanwood City or Cyanwood City. I can't pronounce it properly. Um but I'll choose to fly to Cyanwood City because it is a little bit clearer. And, um, <clears throat> I guess uh, we did a lot in this part. Well, not really. Uh, we just fought the uh, Kimono Girls and got the title bell. And in the next part, we're going to be going to the World Islands to see if we can try and find Lugia. But for right now, this is Triforce Plus One signing off.